Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and I'm a children's program leader at Courtney Recreation Center. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these climbing critters. So for this activity, all you're going to need is about six to ten feet of yarn, some white glue, scissors, a piece of paper, and then some felt pens if you want to decorate your critter. So once you have all those materials, come back and we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with a rectangle piece of paper like this. So what we wanna do is fold our paper to make a triangle like this. So you just take the one corner and fold it in until you have a, the sides lined up to make a triangle. And then we're gonna cut off this strip here. Right. Once we've done that, we're going to fold it in half one more time. So we're going to bring these corners to meet each other. So it should look like this right now. And then we're going to unfold it again. So we just wanted to make that crease. So we should have it back as one big triangle. So it should like this, like look like this when you open it. And then we're going to fold it here. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our corners and we want our corners to meet the top of the triangle on both sides. So this one, we're gonna fold like this, right up into the corner. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. All right, so it should look like this if you have your cor corners folded up. Then what we're gonna do next is fold down. So on each side, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it in half like that. Okay, so it should look like there's a little piece hanging down over the side. And then we're gonna take the same other side and do the same thing there. And it should look like this. All right, next, we have two pieces of paper here that are lined up. We're gonna take the front piece and fold it down. And then we're gonna take the next piece and fold it just over so there's a tiny little bit of space there. All right, so it should look like almost the letter M. Then we're gonna turn it around this way and we're gonna fold in these two corners here. So we're going to fold them to the center. So the first one should look like that. And the next one. All right, so here's how mine looks. So you just have these little triangles here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yarn. So about six to 10 feet of yarn or however much you have. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it like this inside. And so the corners are gonna fold over top like this. And then we're just gonna put some white glue here and here to glue the sides down, but make sure you don't glue down the yarn. You want the yarn to be able to move through it, okay? So once you have it glued and the glue is dried, you can come on back and I'll show you the next step. All right, I've got my creature all decorated and I'm ready to race them. Final part, all you need is just somewhere you can loop the top of your critter around. So I'm gonna use the end of my closet. You could use a curtain rod, a door handle, the top of a bookcase, just anything you can loop it around. So I'm gonna loop it here, pull my critter down to the bottom, and all you gotta do is pull on the strings on either side, and it's gonna start to move up to the top, and then you can just pull them down and do it again. So these are super fun to make with a friend or with a sibling, and then you can race your critters, um, yeah, it's just a super easy and quick craft that you can have lots of fun with. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have fun.